In Psalms chapter 19, the Bible says this in the first uh, three verses. Okay? The Bible says that the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Okay? What's it talking about here? God's creation, right? the world that, in which we live. Did you know that the world in which we live has a voice? Did you know that, that it has a language? Did you know that our creation is speaking every single day? And did you know that there is no matter what your language is, you can understand the voice of creation? Right? What is the voice of creation telling us? Anybody know? The voice of creation is telling us that there is a designer, that there is a God. Okay? Um, I know we, we, only, we only have two seasons down here in Fort Lauderdale, right? Hot and hot. Okay? <laughs> but you know what? It's all organized, isn't it? Okay? Certain times of the year, certain flowers bloom. Right? And all of the flowers at that point in time bloom at the same time, don't they? It's amazing. It's, it's, as, if, it's as if there was a designer that planned it to be that way. And that's the way it is. Up where I live, we have four seasons. All right, there's these other two all right, called fall and winter. You probably have never heard of those before. All right? But in fall, where I live, like all the leaves fall off the trees. Right? And you know, it all happens at the same time. It's amazing. There's precision that is there. Right? And uh, these things are designed. Um, it all happens exactly the way it's supposed to happen. Okay? Uh, the earth is a certain distance from the sun. Okay? If we were closer to the sun... We couldn't live on planet Earth. Right? It'd be too hot. If we were further away from the sun, we couldn't live on planet Earth. It would be too cold. It's exactly in the right spot. It stays in exactly the right spot as it orbits the sun. Did that just happen by chance? You know, they'll teach you in your public schools that it happened by chance. You know, a long time ago, there was this big bang, right? It was a big explosion. And then all of a sudden, the universe existed. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Have you ever blown up a firecracker? Right? You've blown up a firecracker, yes, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, 4th of July down here is really good. I really enjoy it, right? Yeah. Have you ever shot off a firework and blown it up and then like a wristwatch fall to the ground? <laughs> no, right? See, order doesn't come from disorder, does it? An explosion is disorder. So what they tell you is science in your textbook doesn't make any sense. Creation itself, just as we look, as we saw the rainstorms today, it cries, it has a voice, it says, hey, there is a God. There is someone who made the world in which we live and made the environment in which we live. We got to, uh, we got to fly here this morning. And uh, you, let, you ever flown in a plane? I love flying in a plane. It is so cool, right? Um, today, when we took off, it was very, very um, uh, foggy, right? You couldn't hardly see anything. And uh, so we took off, and then maybe by the time we got just a few hundred feet up off the ground, we came up out of the fog in, in the plane, right? And then it was just clear, and you could see for hundreds of miles, it seemed, right? But all down on the ground, just 100 feet tall, it was white. It looked like we were flying over Alaska, right? It was so amazing, so beautiful. The heavens declare the glory of God, right? I took a picture. I can show it to you if you want later of uh, when the plane was banking a little bit like this and took a picture of all those white clouds and the sun rising over that, right? Just brilliant and glorious, right? And creation has a voice. It speaks to us. It has something to say. And, uh, you know, when somebody has something to say or something is talking, um, we are wise to listen, aren't we? Right? So creation has a voice. 